Hi everybody, Ted here from emodels.co.uk. Welcome, this is part 3 of our Tamiya Challenger 1 Mark 3 tank build. Um, those of you who have been following will have seen that uh, up to now we've had a look at what's in the box and in the last clip we looked at putting the hull and the wheels together. Um, that's where we're at so far. Uh, this next video we're going to look at moving on. We're going to move on uh, from the instructions. Uh, we're going to look at parts section 5, 6, putting the uh, rear section onto the hull and moving on from there maybe look at getting some of the uh, top of the hull together uh, and we'll see how far we get. So let's uh, go and find some parts from the sprues and uh, let's put some glue to plastic. Okay so welcome back. Uh, we've got the bits uh, taken off the sprues. There's quite a few uh, tiny pieces in this part. This is the pit that we're going to build. This is the rear panel. Um, I've cut off one or two of the um, smaller bits, cleaned them up and one or two of the sub-assemblies I've already put together. Um, I'm just here finishing um, the uh, extra fuel tanks, the external fuel tanks. Uh, I did notice when I was building these that there are actually two ways round. Um, there's uh, an off side and a near side fuel tank and the ends of these tanks go on uh, accordingly. Tamiya have actually um, made little um, lugs on the back of each of the ends so you can't really get them mixed up. Uh, I'm just in the process of putting this one back or putting this one together. He says trying to get the lugs in to match. There we go. And put a bit of glue around that. Sorted. Just leave that to one side to set. Okay, that's that one done. Um, a little tip for you, tip of the day, if there's some really tiny pieces to cut off, um, a secret is to uh, stop them flying across the room um, and disappearing never to be seen again. I've put a little bit of blue tack on my cutting mat, find the part that we're going to cut off in this uh, wrong sprue. Here we are, here's the part that we want, a little towing eye. What you can do is press the part into the blue tack. Take your cutting knife. I have found, I did used to have a large Stanley knife, but somebody seems to have taken it out of my model box. Most probably my son. So stick the part into the blue tack, cut it off, and that should stop it flying away across the room, never to be seen again. So that's tip of the day. Simple. Okay, let's uh, start and build this rear rear panel. Okay, take our glue. Get the instructions to one side. I have all the parts laid out so that uh, I should hopefully be able to find the right parts to go in the right place. Pick the part up, a bit of glue, double check it's going in the right place. And it's home. Next one, same again. Just check that you've gotten them right the right way up. They are shaped. So just checking against the plan. A bit of glue on that. Just straighten them up just before they dry off. You could always, just for extra security, just a drop of glue in the back, 
and that keeps them secure. Uh, same again with the top. going in there so you guarantee you'll fire them across the room next one It's often good to get all your pieces together, find them from the sprues, cut them off as you need them or you can do as I do is find the right parts, uh, don't get too many because you'll forget which is which. Uh, and then just glue them on in one, in one session. Nice little brackets here. These don't actually fit in to a recess. There's a on the model itself. There's just some raised, just some raised lines to show the position. Most probably just welded brackets on the real tank. Second one, just holding on in the tweezers. Let's have a look, make sure everything's nice and straight. Okay, some larger sections. You really need to fit these just to see where they're going to go. And yep, that one fits there like that. It's quite a large section on the back, so a good, not too much, just enough. just to set the plastic off on both sides. And we're going to think shortly our fuel tanks will be sitting on there. Just trying that. Yep, that's the where they're going to sit. The bracket for the other side. It will fit, I promise. That sits in there like that. Once again, some glue over the mating surfaces. She's in. Okay, so we've continued building. We've uh, put a few more parts on. Um, I've actually put the travel lock on. That's this piece here. There's a little movable part. Um, travel lock is a way of securing the gun barrel um, when the vehicle's being transported. Um, they swivel the gun barrel around so the gun's across the back deck and it's fastened down into that clamp there. Uh, also, we've put the lighting clusters on offside and near side towing bracket 
there's a towing uh, bracket here for towing itself or another tank out uh, that actually fits onto the towing eyes that we put in before so that's them done um, and that's about it from when we left off last uh, just a couple of extra little bits to fit I think there's another part of a towing bridle here not quite sure how that fits Uh, just locates across the top, just in there. Drop a glue just to secure it. Uh, and then there's a, there's a tiny fixing bolt slides through the middle there this is where you really need your tweezers for these small parts just drop glue just to hold it in okay I'll leave that to set um, just looking at the plan as we go across, it seems I've gotten one here, B84. Let's have a look for that. So you remember what we said right at the start, Tamiya um, make uh, label all the sprues. This one's part B and we're looking for part 84 on it. Part, yep, there, here we go. may need a big knife for this just to clean it up Checking it's the right way up. And that locates nicely on there. There we are, nearly finished. All we've got to do now is just secure these onto here, make sure we've got them the right way around. The filler caps are on the off or on the outside of the tank, so that's the offside tank, the offside fuel drum that will fit there, and this will be the near side fuel drum which will sit in there. Okay, let's get these glued and get everything left to set and we'll look at fixing this whole completed assembly onto the rear of the tank shortly. Um, anyway, let's go and let the glue set. Okay, that's the rear panel uh, completed. Um, those of you who may be following this build whilst doing your own build will have noticed that um, in that section, section 6, that uh, I have actually missed a couple of parts off, leaving them off. Uh, I've left off the uh, extra track links that would just fit on the rear of the tank in there. I've left them off just uh, for the sake of painting them later on. 
Um, on that note about painting, some of you may decide that you want to paint uh, the parts as you assemble them, uh, painting them on the sprue or picking out the details. It's a personal preference. I just prefer to build everything first and then paint it later on and we'll get to the painting stage towards the end of this group of videos. Anyway, on with this. Um, everything's got ready dried. Uh, look, f bring back in the hole, the lower hole section. And I've had a go at dry fitting this. This will just slot together in there. And we can notice that down in these edges here there is a slight gap. The instructions do actually tell us to use some uh, sellotape just to hold it all together. So what we'll do now we'll just find a way uh, that'll do that. Yeah I think if we pull these two sides in apply the glue and that should get it together. Okay. This time I can put the poly just down, the glue just down on the inside, just let it run down. And across the base there, which is quite a nice tight fit. Uh, get some sellotape and what I intend to do this time is just put the sellotape right across and hold it in just pulling the just pulling the edges together just checking everything's lined up And there we go, that should hold that there. Okay, another short time um, just to let the glue go off and harden. And really, that's looking now a little bit like the lower hole section is uh, coming together and more or less complete. So I'll put that to one side. The next section we could look at doing is the upper hull. Now then, I uh, whilst that was going off earlier on, I uh, took the trouble of putting one or two little parts on this. Um, I did find that parts B49 and B50, two little uh, parts here, are really a little bit of a fiddly type fit. So just take care if you're fitting those just to make sure they fit nicely before before adding any glue. Um, it also says in this section to add a transparent part to, uh, if I look round somewhere uh, the uh, uh, just see that coming up on the on the video transparent plastic these are to represent the the optics the drivers uh, periscopes and such and there will be a part that actually slips in there. I'll just point that out. However, what we'll do with this, we'll leave the plastic parts out and we'll put them in at the end. Uh, that way we can spray and paint and we won't have to bother. There's the driver's periscope, you can see it in there. If we leave that out, we won't need to worry too much about having then to mask that off. The tank does come apart into sections so we can quite easily add that part later on. I've then added part 68 which is this bit, this bit which in fact try not to disturb this too much as the rear section is still going off that will actually just slip onto a clip there and it will go into place. So we're just ready now to build on the detail on the top of the upper hull. Um, so I think that'll be the end of this video today. 
um, what we'll do next time is we'll uh, we'll look at probably we'll move on and what we'll do is move on to the turret but in the meantime while the glue's going off on the um, lower hull I'll take some time um, I'll get some detail some parts all cut out and attach them to the top of the hull and it's all coming together so anyway that's the end of part three thank you for your time and come back next time and we'll look at doing some more on the challenger tank from ted at emodels.co.uk so thanks a lot and come back next time